Now on Carlton, it's news time. John Thor, TV's Inspector Morse, loses his battle with cancer. Ministers confirm tax rises to boost the health service. Fleeing the missiles again as Israel piles on the pressure. And the sport bewildering Britain, but tonight it could bring gold. The ITV News at 10 with Nicholas Owen. Good evening. The actor John Thor is dead. The star of the Sweeney and more recently Inspector Morse and Kavanagh QC died at his home in Wiltshire this afternoon, according to a statement from his family tonight. He was 60 and had cancer of the esophagus, diagnosed last summer. Katie Derham recalls one of the best known of all TV actors. John Thor was without doubt one of this country's best loved actors, admired and respected by fans and peers alike. Last May, he was awarded one of the acting world's highest honours, the BAFTA Fellowship. I won't keep you. I just want to say that I really am truly, I feel greatly honoured to be awarded a fellowship by the council and indeed the members of BAFTA. Just a few weeks later, in mid-June, it was learned he'd been diagnosed with cancer of the esophagus. A cruel form of the disease, his prognosis wasn't good, though his reaction was typically dignified. He wanted to continue to work as normal, and indeed his last drama, The Glass, was shown to great acclaim last summer. John Thor's been familiar to our screens for decades, playing some of TV's most famous characters. Detective Inspector Rig, Flying Squad, you're next. Also was suave Barrister Kavanagh in Kavanagh QC. How do you think she came by the idea that you would... Go but, on, Lewis! But perhaps most famously of all as a curmudgeonly Inspector Morse. Thinking, Lewis, thinking, old or new, would be a very welcome change all round. A close friend for many years, producer Ted Charles saw him just last week. Well, he, he, he seemed quite good. He, you know, he'd, he'd had a very intensive program of treatment and this left him quite debilitated. But he was very positive and, um, you know, anxious to assure me that he was keen to get back to work. His wife, actress Sheila Hancock, was with him when he died and released this statement. John died with his family around him. We all have been so grateful for the thousands of letters and messages from people wishing him well. John Thor died today, aged 60, and will be missed by millions. Katie Derham, ITV News. The actor, John Thor. There were today the clearest... Birmingham. A quarter of a million youngsters a year are expected to use the three outdoor courts and the sports hall. While there's still no news on whether England rugby captain Martin Johnson has been banned for punching an opponent during a match between Saracens and Leicester. Johnson was shown a yellow card and sent to the sin bin. Russell had to have six stitches to the wound. The sports governing body, the RFU, are reviewing that punishment tonight. They could ban Johnson, meaning he'd miss England's Six Nations Championship match against France. Well, the next bulletin from Central News is just after half past six tomorrow morning. Now, though, back to Nicholas Owen, who's in the ITV News studios in London. Bye-bye. Hello again. Now, Rona Martin, Janice Rankin, Debbie Knox and Fiona MacDonald may not be the biggest names in sport, but they're going for gold tonight at the Winter Olympics in America. If they beat the Swiss, these four, all Scots, will bring home Britain's first gold medal since 1984. Curling is their game. Graham Miller has the story. It seems we've all been struck down with curling fever. Scotland, in particular, is in the throes of an epidemic, with everyone wanting to see if the women's team, all from north of the border, can become Britain's Olympic Golden Girls tonight. Suddenly, this esoteric sport is front-page news. They defeated hot favourites Canada yesterday to guarantee at least silver, and victory against the Swiss will make them Britain's first gold medalists since Torval and Dean, 18 years ago. Curling's played around the world, but it's the Scots who excel at it. The sport dates from the 16th century, and there are two million players worldwide, most aged in their late 40s. The granite stone weighs up to 44 pounds, and the players try to get the stone into the target or head. Sweeping helps melt the ice and speeds up the game. 
In the past, and particularly when played on the outdoor ice, curling's been little more than a sport for those who want to make fun of it. Up until now, that is. Success at the current Winter Games has almost certainly changed the old image forever. A short time ago, the old Scottish team who started the competition without any expectation of glory took to the ice for the crucial match, seeking another inspirational performance. They know they've already beaten the Swiss in the early round, but this is the final, and Britain's only ever won six gold medals before in Winter Olympic history. Graham Miller, ITV News. The headlines again. The actor John Thor, star of The Sweeney and Inspector Morse on ITV, died of cancer today at the age of 60. There have been more strong hints from the government that taxes will have to go up to allow higher spending on the NHS. And the State Department in America has confirmed in the last half hour that the captured journalist Daniel Pearl has been found dead. That's it from me and the ITV News team here. Goodbye. On three, one, two. Power Gen. Energy for you and your little monsters come rain or shine. Hello again. All set to change as we head up towards the weekend. Very wintry, the worst of the snow right up there in the north. So come tomorrow morning, we'll see the remnants of tonight's rain across the southern half of the UK. That'll take a good while to clear, but once it does, the best of the sunshine will be down the east side of the UK. Some dry, clear slots in there as well, but some quite frequent, blustery showers are further north and west. You go increasingly turning into snow over the hills. Temperatures getting colder all the time. Highs of near six or maybe seven for Glasgow or Belfast. Eventually for time getting up into double figures highs of 11 here in London so putting those into context a significant wind chill not looking too good at all here's a summary for tomorrow check out the website you could win a holiday to the Caribbean bye bye for now power gen energy for you and your little monsters come rain or shine one of the club reps reaches breaking point next tonight as she considers catching the next plane home At Vision Express, we take stylish, top-quality glasses like these and give them a little twist. Metal with memory. Memoflex glasses at a new...